Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 7 augustus 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. Kwam je net te laat en heb je een uitzending van de Daily Minutes gemist? De komende tijd is de uitzending niet alleen tegelijk te beluisteren op PI1XDV-L op Echolink. De uitzending wordt voorlopig daar een half uur na uitzending ook nog een keer herhaald. Dat is dus om 11 uur s ochtends en om half acht s avonds. Today's bulletin as always on Sundays and the morning morning repeat will be in English. We have some Morse code for you today and in addition to that another SSTV image in PD90. On special request, it's my other cat. It's the loud-mouthed one and she clearly isn't too fond of being photographed as you can possibly see on the picture of today. Picture has been taken just before 5 o'clock this afternoon. Simone had her 15th birthday only last month. Today we start with some propagation news of both the RSTB and myself. After that we will continue the English language item of the ARRLs. The doctor is in on the subject of magnetic loop antennas. Now the DX News compiled from 425 DX News and other sources. Reg Golf 8 Victor Hotel India will be active from the 13th to the 20th of August. Maritime Mobile in the North Sea. He plans to use 144.333 MHz using 100 watts to a four-element antenna, and he's limited to operation from his cabin, which is located on the starboard side. It's a family holiday, so the operating will reflect the time available. Armin Delta Kilo 9 Papa Yankee will be on the air as 6 Yankee 6 November from St. Elizabeth in Jamaica. Iota reference there is November Alpha 097. He's on the air from the 10th to the 14th of August and activity will be on the HF bands. And if you'd like to QSL, do that via his home call sign. Golf Whiskey 4 Uniform Whiskey Delta is on the air as 9 Alpha slash Golf Whiskey 4 Uniform Whiskey Delta slash Portable from Zlarin Island, that's in Croatia, Echo Uniform 170, until the 9th of August. Activity will be QRP on HF using CW mostly during the mornings and the evenings and you can QSL direct to his home call sign. Johan's Papa Delta Zero Juliet Bravo Hotel is transmitting as Charlie 91 Papa Alpha from Maputo in Mozambique and plans to be there until March of next year. Activity of late's been on 20 and 40 meters using SSB and QSL via the operator's instructions. Giuseppe, that's Italy Zulu 4, Juliet Uniform Kilo, will be on the air as Italy Sierra 0 slash Italy Zulu 4, Juliet Uniform Kilo, from Porto Otiolo in Sardinia, that's Echo Uniform 024, until August the 25th. Activity will be on 20 and 15 metres using SSB, and on 40 metres too if conditions permit. QSL there, direct to his home call. Ismo Oscar Hotel 2 Italy Sierra will be transmitting as Oscar Hotel 0 slash Oscar Hotel 2 Italy Sierra from the Aland Islands, that's Echo Uniform 002, until the 11th of August. Activity there is going to be holiday styly on 80 to 10 metres using only CW and QSL to the home call. Dietmark, Delta Lima 3, Delta X-Ray, X-Ray, Renee, Delta Lima 2, Juliet, Romeo, Mike, and Robin, Delta Oscar 2, X-Ray, X-Ray, will be active as Oscar, Juliet 0, Delta X-Ray, from August the 11th to the 16th from Market Reef. That's Echo Uniform 053. Activity will be on 80 to 6 metres using CW, SSB and RTTY and QSL, if you would please, via Delta Lima 3, Delta X-Ray, X-Ray. Kilowatt Zero Mike Delta will be active from Chile until August 8 as Charlie Echo 2 through Kilowatt Zero Mike Delta. It will be operating on 20 and 17 metres CW and SSB. Delta Lima 1 Charlie Whiskey will be active from Peru August 17 until September 10 as Oscar Alpha 7 stroke Delta Lima 1 Charlie Whiskey. He will be operating on HF bands. Four South African amateur operators will be active from Robben Island August 19 until 21 as Sura Zulu Sierra 9 Victor. Robben Island is where Nelson Mandela stayed during his imprisonment. 
Fox 8, Fox Trot Uniform Alpha will be active from Lifu Island, New Caledonia, September 5 until 12 as Fox Trot Kilo, stroke Fox Trot 8, Fox Trot Uniform Alpha. He will be operating on HF bands, CW, SSB, RITI, using a KX3 transceiver, hex beam or buddy pole vertical. Fox Trot Kilo 2 Bravo Oscar Bravo will be active from Upolu Island, Samoa, September 10 until 17 as 5 Whiskey Zero Bravo Oscar Bravo. He will be operating on 40 and 20 meters single sideband. Juliet Fox Trot 2 Mike Bravo Fox Trot and Juliet Alpha 2 Fox Trot Juliet Papa will be active from Rarotonga Island. September 8 to 19 as Echo 51 Quebec. They will be operating 160 to 10 meters, CW, SSB and RITI. Juliet Foxtrot 2 Mike Bravo Foxtrot and Juliet Alpha 2 Foxtrot Juliet Papa will also be active from Newy Island, September 20 to 29. Call sign will be announced later. They will be operating 160 to 10 meters, CW, SSB and RITI. Okay, Joel, let me ask the critical question here, okay? Real-world performance. If I take if I take one of these small loops, and again, they're only two, three feet in diameter, take it out in my yard, and I have a coaxial switch doing an A-B comparison between that and a dipole antenna on the same band, what am I, what am I realistically going to see? I think it very much depends on how those losses are, and it's a matter, and again, you can't just use the receiving side, although you can if you use the S meter, but not if you listen to the signal to noise ratio. In fact, you, I suggest you do that, uh, because one of the things is we've tested these, some of these in the lab over the mm -hmm. time. We do not have an antenna range. We don't have any no, way of no. measuring the actual gain of an antenna or the loss of an antenna. My impression is that if you get rid of all the losses, the performance is comparable to a, let's say, almost comparable to a quarter-wave vertical. And, it, and huh. a, a loop in the vertical axis is vertically polarized, so it acts like mm -hmm. a vertical antenna. So if you were to have a, a quarter-wave vertical fed against ground and had a loop in comparison over the similar ground conditions, I think if the losses are low, it should, um, should be almost comparable. Huh. Now, that's surprising. I wouldn't think. I mean, it's just intuitively you think, well, okay, tiny antenna versus, say, a 40-meter dipole that is 66 feet in length. It, it just, to me, almost doesn't, almost, not quite, doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, keep in mind that that horizontal dipole has the benefit of a ground reflection, which reinforces at some elevation angles, and that adds uh, on the order of six decibels, or, or an S unit, mm -hmm. at, at the appropriate elevation angles. Now, if the, if the antenna is low, it's mostly going straight up, but still, that comes down in uh, relatively, you know, regional 500-mile kind of communication. Mm -hmm. So if you're comparing at that distance, the, the horizontal dipole will have an advantage over both the vertical monopole and the small loop. And the loop, yes. Now, the typical loop in practice, though, is going to have losses. I mean, there's just no way of getting rid of getting rid of all of them in the design. You can minimize them, mm -hmm. and how good a job you do at doing that will probably have the biggest impact on how well it compares to other antennas. Mm -hmm. But it's certainly, no matter what, it's going to be smaller than other antennas, and that often makes all the difference.
Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en ochtends om half elf. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzendingen is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar xapenstaartjexdv.me. In the early hours after the tsunami, it was ham radio that was on the air, saving lives. When Florida was ripped by hurricanes, the hams were there. In the critical moments after the attack of 9-11, it was the hams who coordinated emergency messages. When disasters strike, the hams are ready. Ham radio works when other communications don't.